Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. In particular, not necessarily all the Cult we, we not Boralus. Uh, we've got the Storm Song, not Storm Song, we've got this lot in here, which is Tyrigard Sound. They're very much West Country accent. Storm Song Valley is a little bit West Country as well for the UK. Drustvar definitely seems to be further north for the UK. So we've got slightly different accents here. I do struggle with those a bit more than I do with the accents that everybody uses right around where I live. Um, but yeah, I, I do try. I do try. So this is why I slip with some of them. Is that, um, they, they vary so much. It's difficult to get them right. We must drive out the darkness. Right, he listened to his accent. The coven will fall beneath my blade. Coven will fall beneath my blade. The battle awaits. And there, the awaits, like, it, it, he's definitely... I think the actor was trying to... I don't think the actor that did this is um, native to the accent he's trying to... Because he's definitely he's drifting from just north of London all the way up to Yorkshire with his accent. It, it does seem to keep drifting between all the different ones. So I think maybe we'll just try and settle on Yorkshire and leave him at that. Well fought, Paladin. The tower is ours. Except that I don't know the Yorkshire accent very well. I am sworn to protect. Our enemy's eyes are upon us. Our enemy's eyes are upon us. Well fought, Paladin. The tower is ours. Now we should set our sights on Corlane proper. Oh, I've got to choose a reward. Rise Breach's Band and Waycrest Inquisitor Shield. I've got, a, I've got a new shield. Look at this. we go with that one. Straight upgrade and it's the same pattern. Let me just change that one over a second. There, we got that new shield from... As our birthday present from Torvo. Thank you very much, Mr. Torvo. This is hugely appreciated. I don't know if so I said thank you already, but I'm saying thank you again. Because, you know, it's a birthday present. I got a birthday present there. Same shield, but slight improved uh, statistics. Just ever so slightly improved on there. This, this makes us a little bit stronger. It would be wise to get a lay of the land before we put together a plan of action. Inquisitor Notley is an expert falconer and a reliable scout. He utilizes an ancient relic to see through the eyes of his falcon, allowing him to survey great distances. Unfortunately, Notley was injured during the fighting and... Nothing serious, but it's left him unable to con concentrate enough to control his falcon. Perhaps you could help. Now, the thing is, if I was a warlock, I've already got something that I could look through like that. And then also the shaman has got farsight as well, haven't they? That's another one. So, the, you know, warlock or shaman, that's all you really need. But I'm neither, so, um, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go, mate. We must remain vigilant. We must remain vigilant. Well, I'll, I'll give it a go, right? I, I, I'll, give it, I'll give it my best shot. We'll get many travellers here. We'll get many travellers here. Let's make this... Even thing. rotten crops we grow. You mind your business, and I'll mind mine. We got cot set up upstairs, and room in basement to stow your gear. It's not much, but it's better than being out there with them witches. Uh, we've got a few bits in here. I want to just sell off a few of the soul-bound items that I've got. That's a 245. We won't sell that. Uh, shanty sheet music, that is. A uh, disarmed explosive device is soul-bound. Um, the shields here have gone through two shields already. Gone through a few of them. Unreliable lodestone, soul-bound. Teardrop pearl, soul-bound. These items here, the greens, the cracked overlord's scepter, once held by a dwarven ruler notorious for falling asleep on a battlefield. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with that one and it's grey, so that one's going to go. And then duplicate pilgrimage scroll. I really hope that we can get that quest back. It would be absolutely wonderful if we could. Uh, the rest of it, I don't see that I've got any more soulbound stuff here. Apart from some of this gear, which we will be breaking apart once we get back to... There's a soul-bound one. Uh, once we get back to the town, we will be able to start ripping some of this stuff apart. None of those are soul-bound. Okay, there we go. This land is cursed. This land is cursed. What's down here, then? What have we got in the basement? Uh, you probably don't want this in your basement. To be honest, dude, 
thinking that's not going to help the situation with the whole curses and, and, and rites and, and covens and, and nasty things that are just generally hanging around here. I'm thinking it's, it's going to be a little bit detrimental to all of that. We, we kind of want to avoid these situations, don't we? Is, isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? There's, there's some monolite down there. There's, there's, there's some monolite there. What, what am I doing? Oh, I need to be... Sp I, yeah, Falconer's Whistle. I need to speak to the Falconer, but... Monolite. I'll leave them on light. Will you hold still? I need to make this tight. I'm trying. It would be easier if you weren't attempting to rip my arm off. Inquisitor Notley and Inquisitor Mace. Right, well, there, there, there's been a little bit of damage going on here, so let's... Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Paladin. Don't worry about this. It's just a minor wound. That is unless Mace turns it into a major one with her first aid. What can I do for you? Need your help scouting the surrounding area. I'm afraid I'm a little indisposed at the moment, though I suppose I could let you borrow Winston for a spell. Here, take his whistle. It will allow you to directly control him. Be careful, though. If Winston gets too stressed, it will break the connection. Try to steer clear of any possessed falcons or crossbowmen. Good luck. Oh, and Grundorn, please try not to kill my bird. Happy hunting. Happy hunting indeed. Right. I want that. But I can't have it just for a minute. Okay, we need to begin scouting. How do we begin scouting? Is, is he, he hasn't actually passed us anything, so... Oh! That's how we begin scouting. You come over here and you, you, you've got to mount the bird like this and not actually mount it and then do that. Well done. Evade. Now, the path to Waycrest Manor runs through Upper Core Lane. We should check that out first. Right. Uh, that's how you evade. Right. We go up here. Ooh. So, they put up a barrier, eh? I can't say I'm surprised, but that will prove problematic. Why don't we do a flyover of the town proper? Be sure to come in low enough that we can get a good look. I'm trying to evade. Yeah, I need to come down in over here. There's a whole load of crossbowmen down here. They're rounding up the townspeople. Evade. That must mean that they're not completely under the coven spell. Maybe there are more survivors out there. Before we return, there's one last Matron. place we should check. There's an armory right over the hill. Let's see if anyone's home. Indeed, let's see if anyone's home. Okay, so I need to go this way, do I? I need to go up there. Let's get skybound. And in over here. Right, there's a whole load of murderous the things in here. Alive. We're in luck, though we better get to him quickly. Hurry back. We need to let Marshal Reed know what we saw. I'm sure he'll have a strategy in mind. Right, I'm not actually controlling this one now. It's uh, controlling me. It's just decided to come back. But we've done all right. The Thank you for returning Winston to me in one piece. I'm sure Reed will be interested in what you saw out there. Well, I may have lost a few feathers along the way. I, I, I will be honest about that. There may have been a feather or two that got removed from him on his way back round. But uh, for the most part, I, I, I got it all. Uh, we've got a board up here now. We've got Lucille who's busy looking at the books. Why are you doing this outside? You know if it starts raining. That book is hundreds of years old. If it starts raining, you're going to destroy it. Go inside. It's we me. must act with haste. What news do you bring? Uh, it's good to know that there are still some left to save in Corlane. We should focus our attention on them until we can devise a plan to bypass that barrier. I'll make sure to get this whistle back to Notley. Thank you, Paladin. The armory presents us a ripe opportunity, Paladin. One I suggest we take. If this battle were to draw out, we have little means to repair our arms and armor. A blacksmith is invaluable to any war effort, and Ballister is one of our best. The armory is but a short ride from here, and I suggest you get to Ballister before it's too late. The coven will fall beneath my blade. Yeah, see, but when I've, I've... I've definitely heard him sounding a lot more northern. This is bugging me now. How can I help? Because I'm trying to, like, replicate their accents as accurately as I can, but his seems to drift all over the place. So every time I think I'm getting it, 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 it changes. 
Uh, Paladin, I have another objective we should consider. The Bleak Hills Mine is not too far from our location. Though the miners there are principally extract... Uh, miners there principally extract iron ore, they do on occasion find silver among the veins. We do not know the current state of the mine, but it's unlikely that the coven has passed it over. However, it would be worth braving whatever dangers lie there to recover some silver to use against them. Fair winds and following seas. I will keep that in mind. I'm all dressed up in my miner's garb, so it, it sort of makes sense that we could go up there like this. Now, we've got... Well, there were spiders and stuff up there. There is a... Um, Bilefang Mother. That would be a giant spider. Bilefang Hunter. That would be a giant spider somewhere in the mine. And that would be all of the spiders nesting again, but there's no chest in there this time. What? Ooh. Silver. Right. I'll have a bit of that. Don't mind if I do. And there doesn't seem to be anything else out here, but it does look like every time we go for silver, we're going to be attacked. But that's all right. I can very quickly... Ooh, wow, look at this. There we go. That was efficiently done. Very efficiently Spiders. done. They're everywhere. I've got garb similar. Look, I've even got the same helmet. I'm a miner like you. Mainlander, eh? What? How did you get here? Did you... Did you kill the spiders? Some terrible old hag unleashed a swarm of these horrible spiders in the mine. I was barely able to make it out alive, but they've got me surrounded. You can't leave me here. Please, kill those things. Well, I was able to get out of the mine, some of my friends weren't so lucky. I saw those spiders wrap them up in their webs, probably to save them for a snack. It was terrible. All I could do was run. Will you help them? May blight fall upon the coven. May blight fall upon the coven. Uh, i got a feeling it might. Right. What are you... What, what? You're, you're supposed... You're over this way. Right, I don't know why you're going in there for that one. Unless... Well, was that another character or was that me? Entirely sure now. Uh, Biofang Hunter... Uh, I don't want that one. That may, that, that may have been another person. I've got skitterers all over the place here. There's lots and lots of them. Right, I'm going to grab those. There is a mining node over there, which I am going to go and stand beside. Another person has mined it, so it's probably going to disappear soon. But we could still have time to remove it. We do have st should still have time to mine it before it vanishes. Because it does do that now. It stays for a while. Rich monolite as well. Beautiful. Look at that. Another four pieces of monolite. I get those. And we've got a giant spider over here. Take that one. And it's not here. Where is it? It must be inside the mine. That's where it must be. It must be inside the mine. I'm rooted for a few seconds, so let's just do that a minute. And then I can run away again. And we will head on up here so that I can attack a few more spiders. And then once I've done that, that's where I want to go is in the mine in here. Oh. It's not in... I honestly thought I was going to be in the mine here. Let's take some of these down. I, 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 I thought I was going below ground, which is where this other one was. But they don't it's appear to be around away. here. I've got writhing cocoons. I'm going to deal with those. And then we've got this, um, we've got all these silver nuggets around. Loads of stuff here. Let's bring that one in. All right. Let's one spider at a time, shall we? Let's do one spider at a time. Take them out. Take him down. There's that one, and then you, and then you down here. And I should be able to rip through you pretty quickly because I've got my AO, my um, cooldown active. Excellent. Writhing cocoon. Ah. Thank you. Thought I was a goner. I can do that. That did break it, didn't it? Yeah, that that got it. As long as I can take most of it out. Like, I think I can get it all in one hit for the most part. But the it appears that it does um, sort of resurrect itself. And there is a platinum node. 
So we'll get that in a second. There's a big old spider down there. Someone else is fighting. Uh, fi fighting? Fighting that spider. Let's get the platinum deposit in a minute. I'll be glad of some of that later on, I expect. And then I can just pick up these bits. We've got more pointy leg segments for the most part. Uh, another bile fang hunter up there. I'm going to do this like this. So if I put the AoE down, the writhing cocoons, I got all of those at once. A uh, six of eight miners rescued, but there was that. I reckon that we. I reckon that it will allow us down into the mine in a minute. That's what I'm thinking. Is that we'll actually be able to get into the mine once we've done a few of these bits, and then right. I don't want to step on those. But what are you? What, what's that? That's nothing. Yeah, don't want to step on those other bits, but I, I reckon... Ooh! Ah! It's cause I said I thought I'd be able to get into the mine at some point. There! There's the entrance that we want to go in. It's down that way. But I'm thinking that we don't want to go in the mine yet. I think that we're going to need to just take out these spiders up here. I need five spiders more taken down. Uh, I need five silver nuggets and two more miners rescued. There's a silver nugget I can see right there in front of me. So I'll get that one. And then I will do that. And I've rescued another miner. i got one more miner to rescue. I've killed the spiders. We've got some silver here. There's another piece over there. So I don't knows that I even need to go into the mine. I just have to go and rescue a few people around here. Maybe under the house, possibly? Let's jump down here. And down here again. There's another miner. Right. He is rescued. I've, the only bit that I haven't done is the silver nuggets. I've got three more bits of that. There's one bit there. There's a whole load of spiders there. We know about that. We've already gone and faced them once. I'd rather not face them again because there's a little point. Just it's a waste of time. It's going to take too long. It's a tedious affair. That's what it is. Right, well, two more of those. Let's just turn mind these in and business, see what happens. And I'll mind mine. You killed them? Oh, thank you so, so much. It's been like living a nightmare. It's been like a living nightmare here. You saved them. Certainly a hero in my book. This land is cursed. Uh, oh, thanks again for taking care of those spiders. Not sure how much longer I would have lasted. If no it's worries. all the same to you, I'm getting out of here before more of those things come from the mine. That's probably a good idea. Right, well, she had those two quests. Angus Ballister, and then the other bit was the Silver Nuggets, which was up in this mine. So, I mean, combat. Oh. That would be why I'm in combat. I got a giant spider spitting stuff into my back, which is quite what I was expecting. But never mind, you know, the, the, these things happen and we, we kind of adapt and overcome. That's, that's our motto, is adapt and overcome. Actually, my motto is just keep hitting things until they die. Uh, whether it's because I'm hitting them or because they've gotten bored and shuffled off this mortal coil because there was nothing better to do at the time, I don't really know, but uh, that's, that is the way of it. So, I can step foot into the mine, like literally, I'm just in here and that is it. And picking that stuff up did aggro both of those. I should have just come straight in here, I think. This would have been the better way to go. Now, I have got that down there, Bilefang Mother. And then there's Monolite Seams, uh, Silver Deposits. Uh, Storm Silver, rather, but uh, whatever, it's, it, it's more stuff. More stuff that I want to mine. Get that. And then I got these here. Well, well, there's that bit. So now it's just... I can... I don't actually need to come in here. This is the same as the garrison mine. It's the same layout as the garrison mine. So I've got a monolite seam over there. I can see the seam. That one goes to that point. So we'll, we'll go with this bit first. I want the monolite seam first. That is going to be my main and top priority. And then once I've done that bit here, I'm just going to keep using the shield. Don't worry about the ads for the most part because they will keep activating the shield for me. It's going to allow me to do it a little bit more frequently. But ultimately, they are a good thing, having these extras around me. 
They allow me to do the more damage. And we did have something, I think, that it, it basically it stacks up. The more enemies we've got against us, the more damage we do. Pretty sure Fury Warriors have something like that as well. The more damage they do, it's uh, too far the more away. enemies they've got against them, the more damage they do per enemy. So with a Fury Warrior, that's another one that you want, you'd like you stack up multiple targets rather than just going for one or two at a time. Um, which I think is, is quite cool. Right, Bile Fang Mother right there. You are a star sort of character. This is definitely the same layout as the Garrison Mine. So I'm going to do that there. Now I've gone and activated a whole load of these. And am I going to... No, I'm going to be feared instead. That's why we've got all of these. So that you can be feared. Okay, let me run through them. And... Oh, we were down to 6% then. We were down to 6%. And now I'm going to dazzle all of them. Target needs to be in front of you. Why was it not in front of you? Should have been. That They're all dead. All of the ads are dead now, so it's just me versus her. She She's going to do the fearing thing again because she wants me to run over more of those. I mean, I've, I've just deliberately run over a few just because it's fun. Um, but I don't think it was quite what she wanted me to do. I, I think she was hoping that I would get loads of them and not be able to cope. Like this. There, even more of them. The only reason I've got for running over them is because they're more loot. Right? It's more goodies. I can harvest your broken corpses for shiny things. That is why we want to do it. It's the harvesting of the broken corpses. How did that fear me? How did that fear me? Shouldn't have feared me. I fear nothing. I'm fearless. Bleak Hills Swatter. <gasps> One-handed mace. Oh, nice. And that's, that's a new appearance in everything. Okay, that is very cool. That is very cool. We actually got a unique thing that is something that we really want to go for. Let's get away from all the spiders. And we will head up towards the top. And then we can take a look at this. The Bleak Hills Swatter. This is brand shiny new. This is not something that we've got. There is a few more skitterers that I just want to get rid of down here. I'll go back in there so that I can actually remove the cocoon damage as well. Because there's still people in there. Despite the fact that we don't have to, I, I, I do like to help them out still. Like, I, I don't know if anybody else gets that when you play a game like this. When you're wandering around and you're like, you, you, you're rescuing all these people, do you feel bad for the ones you leave behind? Like, you do the quest that says rescue 10, so you rescue 10 and then there's another one left in the corner. Do you feel bad for them? Because I do. I genuinely feel bad for them. Like, that person there, I know that there's two people under here. I feel bad for them. I want to help them. Right? I, I, I don't want to just leave them. There, yeah, I've rescued them now. They'll remember. They will remember. And, and there's another one. Okay, I can't rescue everybody. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a hero. But, yeah, you, 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 do you ever have this? Like, I, I've, I genuinely do feel a little stab of guilt when I run away from them like that. It's very weird. I know that other people do get this a little bit from time to time. Um, and then they'll tell you that um, gaming makes you violent. And everybody that I speak to just worries that they may have hurt the NPC's feelings because they said the wrong thing in the quest dialogue. Um, so I'm not really sure where the whole violence from gaming thing has come from because that doesn't feel like violence from gaming. Okay, well, wander up here. I need to take out that hunter there. But what I'm thinking to do is throw that against it like that and then do that and then mine this while he's stunned. Pick up the platinum ore and then get back to work. Now I'm going to burn my cooldowns on him because um, this way I can, I can just get rid of him a lot faster and then I can be on my merry. There we go. I need to head over to the, the blacksmith, but I, I want to get up here first. Right, let's have a look at this shiny new. Right there, item level 245. The current one it's got is 223. So this is a brand shiny new one and it is improvements all the way around with this blue quality thing. So let's bring that round there. Take a look at the actual mace. I tell you what. The mace itself doesn't look too bad. It's a brand new skin, that one is. We'd not collected that appearance before. I'm liking the look of this one. It's not quite the mining pick one that we wanted. I mean, ideally, I would actually like a proper mining pick. So I don't know if there's something that has the skin of an actual 
actual mining pick. If there is, that would be very, very cool if, if there is one that we could find like that. Um, did you notice how dark it was up there? Okay, that's different. It was very, it was, it was very dark and gloomy. I, it, I want to go to that one, Angus Ballastar. He's, he's over this way. Oh no, he's, he's not up the hill. He's, he's over in those buildings over there. So it's that, that cluster over by the lake. And yeah, it's, it's quite, um, it, it was, it was quite dark and dingy up on the top. This, this is very weird. Not sure why it's so dark and dingy. I'm sure there are reasons. Monolite. That's, that's monolite right in the middle of the lake. There. If I can go around there without aggroing anybody. I might be able to. Over here. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Right, we've got a little bit of monolite right here. The other one is a fishing node. I haven't done any fishing yet. That's a great sea catfish. How have we got great sea catfish in here? I right, honestly. How are we getting great sea cat for a thing that is made entirely of iron or metal? It's remarkably adept at swimming, isn't it? <laughs> That's quite impressive. Inquisitor, over here. You have need of me? Well met, Paladin. I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty to scout ahead and assess the situation at the armory. The good news is that there still seems to be some salvageable arms left in the armory. The bad news, of course, is that the coven is here after them as well. Additional weapons could be a great boon to our cause. I recommend we take all we can carry. Foul waters lie ahead. Foul waters lie ahead. Right, well, I'll grab that one. Straight out of the forge. I'm not sure that's really the most sensible move I've ever made. Stealing it right out of the forge. But, uh, well, what's done is done. Let's try and get some more. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aggro every single person Our that I can. Like ancient. that. And there uh, no I'm gonna do it like that and then I'm gonna get you and then I'm going to go to you like that and I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to stand here and I'm going to allow this person to come along and tag them if they want to doesn't look like they want to and I am taking a bit of damage so let's heal up a little bit there right you know person you could come along and Grab these kills. Uh, maybe they don't want the kills. Maybe that's what it is. That, that, that might actually be what it is. That they may not want the kills. Uh, if they don't, they don't. No, no, the person has come along and decided to help. There, they've taken a hint. It's something I like to do every now and then. Is, is just take a, a great big group of people. There, we've got some quality salvage from that one. I'm going to take a mosey on in this way. I've got uh, more people to rescue and uh, pick up. So there's a bit of salvage. And I've got Corlain Guardsman, Grundorn's Guardian. Okay, where did you come from? I need to get Angus Ballister. I think maybe it's because I killed that witch, so now he's helping me out. That might be what it is. And get that bit. And then I need to find a couple more in here. Well, I get one in here. I don't think there's another one over here. There's, no, there's not one over there. I need I need two more. There's a piece on the wagon, and then there's another piece. So we've got that bit. Actually, there's two pieces here on the wagon. Right here, right next to each other. Ideal. Right. Fantastic. Uh, now all I've got to do is I've got to go and get that one. So can I... I can't go in the door there. I've got to go around this side. And I've got... This person is doing stuff. Ah, we're down below ground. Right. Down we go, in here. Get back! Well, folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest, and we are far from the mightiest, so we're very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.